everybody, good morning. Um, we didn't close the vlog last night. We totally forgot. We 100% just went to sleep. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, new day. This is, what, Wednesday? It's Wednesday. Yeah. Um, We're here until Tuesday. Next yeah, I can't believe it. This is a long time. I don't think it's It's Yeah, it's just overkill. Literally. I think almost. I 100% disagree. So now we're, we're going to go down to the breakfast. I guess only open for breakfast right now is, the, is like a buffet, right? Yeah. Yeah, or room service. Or room service. Which you have a lot of selection, uh, Eggs Benedict and the whole bit. Make, make your own omelet. We have a really good room service um, menu. Yeah, so we might do that one of these days too. Probably more. And lunch one is open days. until 11.30. Like, they clearly know they have some hungover folks <laughs> around here if you're basically serving breakfast to lunch. Yes, which means breakfast is, is over at 11.30. Yeah. So, yeah. Let's check it out. Let's go downstairs, see what uh, they have down at the buffet. Okay, so there's a lot of, a lot of choices. It's kind of overwhelming, actually. Um, but they still have kind of that, um, you know, Mexican flair to it. So you can have chorizo um, with your jalapenos and all that stuff in your omelet. So I, I love that. I thought that was something I wouldn't get here. So I love chorizo. What I got was um, a chorizo bacon and cheese omelet. Um, she started making it before I could really finish. I wanted some veggies, but whatever. Um, also some hand cakes. Amanda got some lox bagels, capers, cream cheese. And I got like a Mexican pasta thing with... Yeah, that's, that's what I've been eating. But uh, juice is fresh squeezed. I just found out when I was just going up the stairs. They have like a Jamba Juice type place where you can get your own smoothies. Hear that noise? If you hear it, that's that's actually a fresh made smoothie. So that might be in the cards for in the media future because I love love smoothies like Smoothie King, all those places. I just absolutely love them. I could I could eat that for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Good night. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. Thank you so much. Look at that. Oh man. So I'm gonna put y'all on to something. This here is called chilaquiles. Now what this is, is it's fried corn tortillas in a red sauce. Okay. Oh wow, thank, thank you so much. You. That's enough, that's a lot. <laughs> <laughs> so this is fried corn tortillas in a red sauce with like the um, cheese, like crumbled cheese that actually does not melt specifically Mexican cheese. What a lot of people do with this is if you order this in a, in a traditional kind of Mexican restaurant, they'll do veggies and eggs and this, and they'll actually serve you tortillas to eat it with. Like, it is the most delicious thing ever in life. So this is Jimmy's first time having it. I've had it previously because of a past relationship, but this, get it if you ever see it. All right, he's gonna try. It's kind of soggy. It's been sitting there. Yeah, it's been sitting there a minute. Hmm. I love it. Okay. So this is why this is what it tastes like to me. It tastes like tortilla chips with spaghetti sauce. That's not spaghetti sauce. I know it's, it's not, red sauce. But that's, that's my first initial like it's, it's, it's spaghetti sauce. Spaghetti Don't sauce. cheapen it. I'm not cheapen it. <laughs> It's good. It's really good. It reminds me of it. And the cheese is really good. Um, I like, I might eat it. I'm sitting around how to eat it. It's really good with but veggies it, and eggs and stuff first, too. My first brain. I wonder if like tomorrow, I told him I wanted that on the griddle with eggs and veggies and I bet they'd do it. Bet That's killer so, that way. While we're at the camera on me. Also, he brought us all of this like green sauce. I'm in love with this place. He gets sauce. Uh, smoothie. I haven't tried it yet. Um, it's only picking something good and you just you put a bunch of stuff in there. I didn't even see what's going in there, so. But that's fantastic. <laughs> oh, they put a bunch of berries in there and a banana. I can taste all the fruits. All the fruits. Yeah, we saw previous to coming that breakfast was killer. Breakfast is pretty killer. Honestly, everything's been delicious. Also, I got quesadilla. Empanada and tostada. I'm not sure what's actually on here. It um, is chorizo, potatoes, and cheese. Because I had one earlier. And then you put this green sauce on top of it. Right here. She, Your life will she change. She the for free because I was, I was speaking. I said I, I knew the word. I knew what they were called. So I got a little like... 
You got a little extra something something. <laughs> okay, so back in our room, Meg got her face on. Uh, and, then, and now we're going to go meet up with some people in the hotel to give us a, kind of a tour of, of, of the area, what's going on. Um, breakfast was fantastic. We left and came back. Our beds, our rooms already made up, which is really cool. But I want to show you guys, like, we had to take a shower this morning, and these products are just good. Let's preface this. Um, we had like a central oil we found in Thailand when we were in Thailand last year, couple years ago. It's called verbena. I don't know what that is. Like the I don't smell. Know if we're pronouncing that right either. Verbena. I don't know. But uh, anyway, comment down below if you guys know what this is. Uh, is it a leaf? Is it like a basil? I, I don't know. Is it a, is it a flower? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Basil, but like, basil. like everything here, like all these things. Oh, she put you put more stuff in here. Holy cow! Yeah, she like, gave us extra. This, this it smells like, really good. Octane. I don't octane know. Octane is a price. But look, they have a leaf. It looks like basil leaf or something. It's a fancy brand. But yeah, shower gel, body lotion, conditioner. But shout out to like all the toiletries. I'm a toiletry guy. I love these toiletries. Like they have. They have Q-tips and makeup sponges. What's this? Shoe mitten. If you need to do that. A sewing kit. Hey, a sewing kit. Uh, a shaving kit. Get out of here. More soap. Oh, she got more soap for us. Toothpaste, dental kit. Sanitary bag. This is probably for lady products. Shower cap. And some scope. Kind of stuff. But they have all this stuff in here too. Here, in the shower. So they even have like a loofah bath mitt thing. That's cool. We just had the most amazing tour from the head of PR. Shout out to Erica for giving us an incredible like view of this resort. Be looking for that. We're doing a whole separate resort tour for you guys so check that out we also got to see one of the like superior super cool suites so be on the lookout that's coming out soon too with our vlogs but now i think it's time to like officially start vacation and hit the beach Place. And we're trying to find another place that's shaded. And the lady came over and said, Do you want an umbrella? And so she's going to go get us an umbrella. It's amazing. See, look. Incredible. I'm so excited. Well, swim up bar life. Yeah, it's amazing. I, you just tell them what, kind of what you want. Like, Amanda found we were in, in Cozumel a couple years ago that she took this mango spicy thing. But so I asked him for that and he made me something. And similar. It was, so a little bit of jalapeno, it's mango in it, but I got a some rum and coke, I'm not very original, but um, here they have Havana Club, which is awesome, because you can't get it in the United States since it tastes just that much better when it's illegal in, in the U.S., you know? Right, the wristband. Huh, so I can just show your wristband and your drinks, because it used to be an all-cart uh, resort, they changed last year to all-inclusive, so a lot of confusion online, like what's included, what's not. Basically, everything's included except for one restaurant, one restaurant and a couple of alcohol things, you know. But other than that, you can get anything you want here. Uh, we actually you know. found the coolest thing out when we were doing the tour with Erica today in that they could either build a couple more restaurants during COVID or he could pay his entire staff 50% of their wages. So he paid his staff. I think that's amazing. It just tells you a lot about the, cult, the, you know, the, the corporate culture here and all the resorts. I think, I'm not sure if it's this resort or, or I guess resort. All the, all the chain uh, the, resorts. The staff is incredible, and but, now you know why. Yeah, they're all happy, and so it's cool that, that the, the the owners of the resort wanted to pay people versus like, during COVID. Well, that was amazing. She said it yeah. helps so much because they don't have an appointment here, so uh, amazing. Yeah. We decided we need a change of location. But honestly... Can't I, beat this, right? I'm actually worried about the, the recliners. Not... So... 
The chairs up by the pool looked a little flimsy, so we came they down gave, to the beach. They gave, a lot. They, they gave away quite a bit. Like, like they gave quite a bit when I was sitting down on them. I'm like, I do not want to be this guy in front of everybody in the pool breaking them. So I might go try it out tomorrow, but I'm there's like, nobody hey, there. You know what? I'm gonna go somewhere where there was stronger chairs. So the ones down on the beach are totally different, and they're really, really they're sturdy, nice. So. Yeah. Um, we're hanging out here. We found uh, our new favorite attendant. The guy's awesome. Name's Abelardo. Abelardo. He, he got us strawberry mango margaritas. But he also brought a cup of like, like water. Like he brought us How water cool and ice. Like isn't that super cool? And then our margaritas he put tagine on the edge. I want to tell you guys though. Like I love chamoy, which is like the like really sweet, gooey, like it's like Mexican candy that you can put on the edge of a glass for a drink and I asked him I was like hey do y'all offer chamoy and he said no and he goes you like chamoy I said yeah he said tomorrow I'll bring you some so I was like you're my new favorite person how long are you on the beach so he's gonna be on the beach the entire time that we're here so anytime we come down here we're gonna come see him because super super cool guy so um, we ordered lunch Jimmy got a burger and some shrimp cocktail I got ceviche and onion rings living that healthy life but um it's a nice day the breeze is beautiful we're just gonna hang out and enjoy ourselves one important thing we want you guys to know is part of this vlog is gonna be super laid back and kind of chill because we really want to show you guys the non-party part of Cancun that's one of the reasons why we've never come here is because we're not super party people and that's a lot of what you see and so we wanted to show you that there's a totally different side to Cancun that you can come for like a romantic couples vacation you can come for a family friendly vacation so it's another reason we chose this resort so don't be mad at us if it's not like woo woo party because that's what we purposefully didn't want to show there's plenty of content for that so we want to show you guys a chill fun side of Cancun that may not include the party if that's not your scene I'm not complaining this is really nice this is what I wanted I wanted to sit on the beach and relax and enjoy myself so I hope you guys aren't bored <laughs> One thing that's cool about this hotel is like it has different packages, and so you can do like a they call it infinite package that has like um, it ha what does it have? It has upgraded like amenities. You have like you can get full bottles of liquor in your um, room, and you can also get uh, what else? You get like a special experience choice, like be beach dinner. Yeah, beach dinner, or you can do like a deal where you get um, the Bola Basilica, like their five star restaurant here. That's included. It's like a hundred bucks usually but per they couple. Also have, but um, other parts that I'm not sure. Yeah, but one of them. I actually keep watching. We're sitting on the beach. We're watching these jet skis. You can, you can run a jet ski for half an hour. Looks like fun. Um, Amanda and I. Whoa, just like that. <laughs> man, man, Amanda and I uh, read one we in Cozumel a few years back, and well, obviously we're bigger people, so it's kind of hard to <laughs> just to be on a jet ski. But it's surprisingly unstable, and I'm not very good in the water. Well, I'm good in the water, but I think getting up. Like on the jet ski, once you fall off in the middle of the ocean, it might be kind of tough for me. Um, so, yeah, I went up with myself and my brother-in-law. It was a good time. But it's kind of fun watching these guys scoping down the coast here. It's kind of kind of fun. They're so that's zipping what, around. Yeah, so we're watching, watching all this. The guy, guy just fell in. That's what I was just saying. Hey, Bernardo. Yes. Thank you. Uh huh. Awesome. Thank you so much. Big reveal. Big reveal. Woohoo! Oh, ceviche and chips. Yeah. And then I got honey rings. So over here, we've got appetizer and an entree. Okay. Shrimp cocktail. This is amazing, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> As just DJ is too, and uh, burger and fries. I know it's not very really original, but it's sort of a limited menu, so yeah, choices aren't as, as much as like room service or uh, the other sort of, I mean, other uh, restaurant behind me, but still pretty good. So we'll try it out and. Oh, it really? I don't know why this amuses me so much, but look, mostaza, <laughs> mustard. The Spanish is mostaza. I didn't know that. Anyway, carry on. So we changed locations. <laughs> It got a little hot on the beach for this pale one. So we came to the pool. 
Yeah, it's like there's three different pools. There's a couple of like old fun pools. Actually, no, there are four. I don't know. The one in the middle, which is where the music's coming from, it's really busy. But the ones on each side of it are not as busy. But the chairs on this side are better than the ones on the right side. So that's why we came over here. Everybody's so great though. The staff is fabulous, no matter where you go. When you say? Yeah, I, I definitely. Like, I mean, everywhere you go, they like, go say who they are and like, give you something. What do you want? And every time they walk by, they give you a thumbs up and make sure you're okay. It's really, but, really impressive. Yeah, it's kind of cool. You gotta go the extra mile. Like, just okay. Come over here. Yeah. Oh, one second. Let me flip it around. So maybe this is what happens at all. All inclusives. This is our first all inclusive like, experience. So we're, like, we're way overwhelmed on like just how hospitable people are. But like, so I told them I wanted, like, I wanted to be. I said I wanted Corona. And so not only did he bring over Corona, like this was this was full of ice, but he brought two bottled waters and then two Coronas, and then like, yeah. anything else, let us know. And he put us put this. We were already in the pool by then, and it's like it's just great. Like, That's just, so nice. It just you, it really is. I I, I get why you get to pay more money because you have to pay the servers and it's the quality of food, quality of drinks, all that stuff. We have to swim up bar for Amanda, and she wanted to try uh, mezcal. Um, it's like a smoky version of tequila, but it's not tequila. It's we've tequila it, adjacent. Yeah, we've had it before, and I, I don't really know much about it, and I know they have tastings and things you can go do, and we've not done that, um, but I'm intrigued by my, uh, mezcal. Both of us are, but it's really smoky, so he tried, made it some kind of like a, like a margarita type thing with has mezcal in it. It's really good, but um, enjoying ourselves. Hanging Give out you here. guys a little view. Yeah, a little bit longer. Like, our resort is massive. Like, it starts over here, and it goes all the way over there like it's huge it's massive good things i think it's a good selling point is like for this place is like the, the, the waterfront like so you know cancun so let's look at cancun so here's like the main part of, of cancun over here there's like a, a d that's the, ho the hotel zone right and we're we're right kind of like right here top of the d but the island uh, isla Moretas is like right right here so all of the like the major surf the ocean waves are blocked by the island. They're on the other so side, yeah. It's really, really calm here. So if you go like down the other, like this part of the hotel zone, it's like really, really choppy water. We'll show you a picture of that later, I'm sure, but you can see it from high up because all of these rooms are all ocean front rooms here. And so everything on that side of the hotel is all just like the walkway to get into your room. Yeah, because every room has an ocean view. Whether it's ocean front or not, every room has an ocean view, which is incredible. Yeah, really cool. But yeah, you see the outside of the windows, like the, the surf, it's really yeah. choppy but over there. But there's no rooms over there. Um, but uh, all the whole whole road is like really heavy surf. So I, like, this is like the ideal. Like not only this resort, like the one next door, like Hyatt Ziva, and the one that, like they're all kind of in the same area. So you go pick this one, you know, there's other ones that are, are choices at the same same zone, but um, I mean, this thing's probably the large one of the largest ones around. It's 600 rooms or something. No, it's more than that. It's gotta be. 800 there's, there's rooms. One, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So it's like, it's like, she told like me 10, 10 floors. Yeah. So 10, 20, I think she 30, told me 40, 800 rooms. Yeah, at least. I mean, yeah. It's places is massive. Mm -hmm. But I think it's one of the things that like, it's kind of cool. Like, I saw Amanda earlier, like, like one of the things that we think is interesting is we probably have seen this hotel our whole life. It's like this is an older hotel that's established. And they, and they, I mean, they know there's like this isn't like the newest resort. And they're constantly trying to keep up. You can tell they're constantly trying to like, like fight back the wilderness with, with the humidity inside and, and just it's aging and stuff. But it really is a nice resort. But it is nice. And it's just fun to be a part of something iconic like this. It's been around for a long time. Look how fancy Amanda is tonight. Where are we heading? We are headed to La Playa for dinner. Which is what? It's the Mexican food restaurant. But what's even funnier is today's Cinco de Mayo. We had no idea. We forgot. <laughs> so we're headed to eat Mexican food in Mexico for Cinco de Mayo. But Donna seems to care here. It's no, another it's holiday. Really weird. It's like it's such a high day in Ireland.
all the, the details. It's beautiful. This, I think, is really cool. They gave us a bag of our mask in. Mm -hmm. That's neat. So, QR code for the menu. Mexican food. So, we're going to take a browse and see what's on. What kind of stuff do they have on there? What kind of? Well, there's tuna carpaccio. Is this something about hibiscus? Hibiscus flour tostadas. Mm. And then there's, I mean, lots of stuff. Oh, my goodness. Stuff I hadn't heard of really before. So, mm. this is going to be good. So they just showed up with a collection of really cool stuff. So they have fresh bread, which bread is awesome. Um, tortilla chips and plantain chips. Various salsas here. And then, of course, butter with their bread. But they gave us some drinks. I got something like with a Grand Marnier in it, and it's sweet. And you, what, what did you get? I got a strawberry margarita, but they put tagine on the glass. Ah, it's always a nice touch. <laughs> Fan? Yeah, it's pretty good. I don't know what voodoo magic that is, but it's really good. I don't know. Let's check out the salsa. Ooh. It smells good, too. Ooh, so it looks like a little bit of pico de gallo. Mm -hmm. What is that? That's pretty spicy. Take a quick, take a quick uh, spoon of that. Just real quick. I love that. I'm the, I'm the guinea pig here. It's really hot. It's like citrusy. Yeah. It's a little different, a little more tomato. Interesting. Delish. Okay, we've got appetizers. I got tuna carpaccio. It's got fresh fruits and veggies and look how beautiful. Presentation is awesome. It's our first restaurant, so yeah, this is really cool. But Jimmy got something a little interesting. Yeah, I got uh, hibiscus tostadas. Um, this is all hibiscus flour. Hib hibiscus and goat cheese. But if you look closely, especially over here, if the light's showing up for it correctly, uh, yeah, that's grasshoppers. And <laughs> so I'm gonna eat grasshoppers on here. You guys know we're adventurous eaters, but I don't do bugs. I don't know what has to do with grasshoppers and hibiscus, <laughs> but we're gonna try it anyway. I'll try it. All right. I want to try it. Actually, I'll just try it. We'll just get it out of the way. Grasshopper. <laughs> it tastes pretty good. I mean, they have... Are they crunchy like the crickets crunchy. in Thailand? Mm hmm They're crunchy. And they have like a, um, a kind of woodsy, but they're really they're salty, but also kind of smoky. Nobody's there's smoke or something. Get in there so with good. the hibiscus. Let's see. But, It all works. Really it good? It's not really floral, but the goat cheese, a um, little bit of flour. I don't explain it. It's like, it's not floral, it doesn't mean. It's, it's more of a sweet, and then goat cheese kind of helps them all together. It's really, really um, creamy. Creamy. Yeah, it all works though. It's good. All right, that's what you think. It's good. I thought it was raw tuna, essentially, but it's really thin, so they've sliced it, but they've given you like fresh veggies and fruit to kind of pair with it, and it really, like the flavor combination is really nice, so like some orange on your pork with some lettuce, and then some of your tuna is awesome, so good. It, it wasn't. Thank you. Fancy. So we, we took a tour today with uh, Eric and the Charter PR here for the uh, resort. He said it was one thing we need to get is this tortilla soup. So it's, it's he like, had to try it. So and then I got the bean. It has like masa dumplings and stuff in there, which I'm really excited to try. Masa dumplings? It's like bean, some kind of dumpling. So it's kind of interesting, this the soup like it's not it's not like American tortilla soup it's like um 
I want to say it's more authentic. It's more earthy, and um, like it has like it's almost like tofu, but it's not. It's like say a cuita cheese or something. Um, it has avocado tortilla strips. I just feel like this is like the real tortilla soup versus like the American bastardized version of it. You know. I feel like mine's like authentic Mexican because there's these little dumpling dumplings in here. See that? It's like masa. It tastes like corn masa dumplings, and then. The soup is beany, but it's earthy. And he had cream in the bottom that he poured all this over. It has onions and cilantro, and I have to figure out a way to recreate this. Look, it's that good. All right, so what did you get? I got duck, but it was with a modern mole. So these are plums, onions, and almonds, and it has like a fruity, I think, um, Molly sauce to it, and then this is duck, and then obviously corn. You went traditional. I got the black moly from like Oaxaca, from that region, that state. So it's yes, this is the, the, the famous mole. It's like Veracruz. It's other kinds of mole you'll find out through that to speak, I'm sure. But um, this is this is Oaxaca. It's like I think when I say they probably make the, the original, maybe. So only honestly, I didn't know they had lots of different kinds of mole until we looked at the menu. But this one is the one I've always had with chicken, like you got. It's like a fruity taste. It's like a red sauce. But it's not bitter, it's a little sweet. We try it with some duck in a plum. It is sweet. Yeah. Good. That's Muy bueno. Flavorful, but the duck, the duck is a dark meat, so you that fatty, it's not fatty, but it's like that soft texture, fruit, the sweetness of the plum with the red sauce, so good. Switching the phone, because the other camera's not cropping with their white, but I'll try this out. So I'm going to open this mole, I'm not sure what's on top of this. I can't tell what you Pineapple? I don't know. Anyway. Yeah? Mm -hmm. That's moly. It's kind of dark. Someone almost would say murky a little, a little bit, but it, look, it tastes like cocoa in there. Um, the chicken's actually cooked perfectly. But uh, it's really good. It's just like a, a complex, earthy flavor. It's not what you think when you see this sauce, but I mean, it's you really just good. gotta try it to know. Mm -hmm. So, um, the biggest fire to drink on the house, I mean, anyway. Um, all inclusive, I know I get it, but we didn't order it. But um, he said it's an after dinner drink. I love the glass with like the thingies on the bottom. But he said it's like a tequila. You know what it smells like? It smells like horchata with tequila in it. I'm not even. It's horchata. I'm, I'm all about that life. Is it? That's what it tastes like. That's really good. Oh, I gotta try me some. So this isn't not tres leches. This is cuatro leches. So it says four milks on the on the. on the menu. So we're gonna give this a shot. Yeah. If you know, you know. Thank you. Melts. It just melts in your mouth. It is so creamy. So good. I gotta try this. I gotta make this. Can't really tell in this light. It hurts. But we're gonna change clothes, obviously. It hurts. So I'm gonna head out to the grocery store, see what we find. Now that we're outside, um, recap of dinner. It was actually really good. What I liked about it, it was not Tex Mex. You know, <laughs> we were still from Texas, so I was just Tex Mex stuff. But actually, this was authentic Mexican food. It was good. Um, the mole was spot on. I'm always tricked by mole because it has, it has chocolate, has peanut butter in it, but it's not either one of those things, which I think is kind of fascinating how you can transform that, but all in all, really good flavors, really good food, everything's cooked to perfection, can't complain. Yeah. What do you think? I agree. It was really good. However, a couple other people got churros I didn't see it on the menu. That's what happened there. We gotta figure that out. Yeah. I know it's hard to see right now. We did it at night. This video, this camera's not great for night, night stuff, if we're finding out, but right here is the entrance to the hotel. I spin around. You can see 
over here, just beyond this, like right there, that's Coco Bongo. And we're heading right over there, which is the supermarket. So it's really, really, really close to go uh, the nightlife. So Coco Bongo, um, the uh, um, Senior Frogs is down there, but Coco Bongo as well, Hard Rock Cafe, all this stuff. But only a block away is the supermarket where you can get anything you need. And we've been told that it's actually local prices, so it's not like inflated prices for anything. Might be. Sorry about the wind. Hotel, right there. Pharmacy. But that's actually the. kinda. But right here is the supermarket, right there. I think it's 24 hours, isn't it? I think so. Yeah. Let's go check it out. Here. Yeah, so 100, 140 pesos, 225 pesos. It's pretty expensive. So 20 pesos to a dollar. So basically, this, yeah, this here, that's uh, almost 12 dollars US. So keep that in mind. <laughs> so this is like a legit, like, Western. <laughs> U.S. grocery store because look, signature brand. That's like Albertsons, Tom Thumb, kind of stuff. So it must be owned by a U.S. company. The beer prices are pretty cheap. I think it's pretty cheap in here, honestly. As much as a Red Bull, two for seventy-two pesos. About three dollars, three four dollars. If you're looking to buy like struggle stuff, seven ninety-nine for the, like, these cool-looking. Gears, but the cheaper ones are 319 pesos. The goggles are 100 pesos, so like five bucks. They also have pool floaties, that's good to know. Pool floaties are, are nine, about 90, so three dollars for pool floaties. Like this one's 70, so less than three bucks, that's actually not too bad. Oh, they do have a pharmacy. Let's look over here and see what they have. We need distilled water for our sleep machines. Okay, we're going to the third floor. The floor. So there's two floors. This is like an Asian supermarket, which is actually kind of cool. It, may, it makes us feel good being here. Super clean. Yeah, really nice and fancy. So, so nice. Oh, there's uh, tequila. Yeah. Well, apparently the third floor is all liquor. Well, it's pretty good. I uh, recommend if you need anything, just come here and get stuff. Because I mean, all our places are inclusive, so you don't really need anything. But um, if you need some kind of supplies, last minute things you forgot, place to get it, decent prices, like she said. So super well, clean. Their produce looked amazing. Yeah, <laughs> that's where it all comes from in the United States, anyway. So anyway, thumbs up for the supermarket. Hey guys, get back up to the room after your little supermarket trip, and uh, I think we're gonna call it a night. We're both tired. Uh, she realized Amanda is just covered in sunburn. So even with uh, 50 SPF, I think, mm -hmm. <laughs> she's, she's still out for the count. She got burned. Uh, yeah, they'll go problems. So hopefully tomorrow we'll find an umbrella, a couple of them maybe, to put over us set out on the beach tomorrow. So please enjoyed this, this uh, day with us, this vlog. Um, thanks for sticking around. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe, as always. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, for sure. Um, other than that, Amanda, where are you at? Good night. Good night. Not quite sure what's going on here. The next door is having fireworks. Guess what? We're not only travel vloggers on YouTube, but travel agents as well. That's right. So, if you want to repeat the same experience that we had at Grand Fiesta Americana Coral Beach in Cancun, 
That's a mouthful. It really is. Check the description box below for a link or head on over to chubbynewway.com, click travel agency, and complete the form called book a trip.